Hello everyone, welcome. So today we're going to be talking about why a great opportunity actually needs a passionate entrepreneur and not actually funding as a lot of us might think because a lot of us think that well, an opportunity means uh, uh, something to be developed and of course everything that needs to be developed needs money. While it is true, we need to go into the anatomy of what an opportunity or a great opportunity is. See, there's opportunity all around us, right? But there's also competition all around us. Now, why is this? If we can break this down, we actually get the idea of what a great opportunity is and what is an everyday opportunity. Now, there is opportunity and there's competition because an opportunity is something that everybody sees and everybody competes to get that. Now, this only happens when the opportunity is at face value or it's on the surface. That means that it has already materialized onto the material plane and hence it is visible to everybody. When it's visible to everybody, everybody wants it. Everybody is competing for it. So this is at a very outer layer. Now, what is a great opportunity? A great opportunity is something that nobody has yet seen. A great opportunity is something that is generally missed by the crowd because they're running after the opportunity that is in front of them because that serves their immediate purposes. That serves their immediate needs. So a great opportunity needs a mind or it needs a certain kind of attitude which is not actually looking to be paid which is actually looking to fulfill an inner drive, which is already inherent inside of you. Now, that for me is the definition of a passionate entrepreneur in itself. Now, what does a passionate entrepreneur have and why is he or she able to see this great opportunity while others are missing it? Now, a Passionate entrepreneur has passion, which equals to drive, which equals to life force, which equals to creativity, you can say. Now, creativity is not just in the arts. It's just, it could even be like creating a business, right? Creating a full financial empire. It could even be that. So I'm not restricting it. It's equal to the urge to branch out, the urge to bifurcate, the urge to make more out of something which was in seed form like the urge that the very drive that a tree has in order to branch out and make more of itself make more of the initial seed that it had and make more of that in the form of fruits and branch out and propagate more now that is what any great business does that's what any great entrepreneur does so if you can look into yourself and have Tap into the point at which you are kind of working for passion. What it does is you're directly working for this energy uh, continuity. You're directly working for the drive. You're directly working for the life force, which is the creative force, which is the urge to branch out, which is what any great enterprise starts off as. And this is kind of the place that these great opportunities come. Remember one thing, great opportunities do not come once the tree has become really big and, you know, it's already established and it's just falling off uh, with fruits. That's when most people see. That's why this competition to go pluck the fruits. A great opportunity comes at seed level. Seed level investment. That's the point at which a great opportunity comes. It comes as a small seed where only somebody who is not so-called working for money, who's working for a drive inside of them is able to see because they're able to see that this seed has the ability to be developed into a full-blown tree. And I'll be the owner of all of that because I've seen it at the very beginning. I've entered at the very beginning. So that is what an entrepreneur is actually looking for. He's looking for a seed. He's looking for the seed. He's not looking for the, for the, you know, the mangoes that are popping out of the tree once everybody's seen it. So in this case, what happens is that he or she is actually looking for seeds, for new seeds which are coming out, for new things which are coming out in uh, their current age, whether it's in the art field or whether it's in the current business field with NFTs and all of that. You are basically looking for something which 
is uh, which you see as a long term investment not exactly monetarily but because that your drive your inner drive has the ability to develop that now for this there's also another thing that needs to happen inside of you is that you need to see as price is not equal to value because in these cases when you are going after the seed when you are a passionate entrepreneur is going after the seed the price it really doesn't matter because price is what the outside world has put on it and it has not yet been seen in the world right it's not yet been seen so the price is not relevant at that time it's about the value that you see in it and the value in most cases in such uh, situations is what the energy that you are putting into it it's the energy that you are putting into it so when you are coming with this kind of a mindset you are seeing opportunities with others generally tend to miss because they are generally going after the fruits they're going after fruits laid out by trees which were already developed very long ago by some entrepreneur who saw the seed 20 years ago or 30 years ago are you getting it so they are the so called founders of that revolution or of that uh, wave but if you are working for passion and not actually for money you tend to generally see the seeds because you tend because the thing is you are attuned with the drive inside of you and that drive is attuned with the universal urge to evolve and grow and when you are attuned to that you are generally building something towards the future so you're generally seeing it at the very seed and at the seed there is no price for it or not accurate price for it yet because the world hasn't seen it so it hasn't actually valued it yet so that's why like actually if you look at it if you would understand this ecosystem very well money is actually not involved in this it's actually about the ability of your inner drive to go ahead and develop it it's all actually just about developing that seed into a tree so it's all just about your effort so the effort is again just related to your drive is again related to the passion inside of you and the entrepreneurial spirit inside of you so if you want to tap into this kind of a mindset what happens is that you're going to see opportunities where everybody else is going to miss and that's why i uh, call this topic as best opportunities actually need development need a passionate entrepreneur to develop it not actually money to fund it necessarily yes you need money to fund it but it first needs that drive to develop it so if you could maybe think about this there might be a lot of hidden gems inside and i'm going to be going into this in detail in the upcoming episodes so stay tuned <laughs>